Hi, my name is Pauline. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make doodle jump game. Let's start to create the game. First, let's upload all the background and sprite. You can draw them or find in, in the internet and just upload. I will upload the background. Let's convert to vector and fit to the screen. In the description below, you can find all the pictures so you can just download them using your project. Let's upload Doodler. All right, I go to Costumes, Convert to Vector, select, and I want to flip and point in the center somewhere here. All right, let's change size. I think 25 will be okay for our screen. Great, and let's upload Sprite for platform. You can also just uh, draw it or upload and size and it will be 60 60 or 50 I think will be okay cool and now let's program so our doodler should always fall down and when touch the ground should jump so first let's create the gravity when the green flag clicked we should forever fall down we can just of course change y for example by y minus one but it's not like we fall in the reality in the real life when we fall during the time our speed increases and we fall faster so we need to create a variable let's call falling speed so it's like acceleration we need first we set falling speed to zero and then we always change fall speed by minus one because we're going down and change y by this falling speed so you could can see we always fallen faster yes great and then when we touch the ground we need to stop falling and then go up let's create condition with this loop repeat until repeat until because we need repeat while we touching ground we need another like knot okay repeat ground then we need to set our fall speed to zero let's just check how it works yes as you can see we stay yes we can stay all right but let's not just stay jump for doing this we need to go up so we need just set fallen speed to some to some value for example 25 let's see just stop let's see how it works as you can see we stuck in the ground so we need a little bit go up we just need here change y by just one let's see yes as you can see we can jump for making this better, we will create special block. So first block, let's call it gravity. And here I just put this script and another block touching around here and this and this forever loop, we will use this blocks for not seeing how doodle just going up from the ground we click on the define touching ground edit and i need run without screen refresh okay let's see yes it's better we don't see this change y by one 
you see great i think just 25 is too much but let's try 20 yeah better so the next step let's create a lot of platforms not just one so how we can do this we will create clones so when the green flag clicked repeat for example five times we will create clone of myself so the first block for example will be somewhere here we just set y to let's say minus 160 and then each block will be higher but with a random interval for example 50 and 100 all right let's see okay when i start as a clone let's set x position horizontal position random set x also pick random let's choose values from 120 to 220 all our screen is minus 240 plus 240 we will somewhere between let's say great all right our doodler i should i think should go to somewhere here in the middle great let's try okay let's add uh, to our doodler ability to move right to left i think you know how to do it we just need if conditions if k right press we move 10 steps and first point in direction to the right and move 10 steps duplicate and if left arrow pressed point in direction 9 and also move 10 steps and then in the direction let's choose left to right let's see yes i can as you can see i can move also in a doodler when i go to the right screen i should appear on the left side we just need to add condition if x position more than 240 then i need go to the left so i need to set x to minus 240 and it's when I click go to the right. Yes. And if I go to the left, I should change to the right opposite. So X position less than minus 240. I should X to the right side 240. Let's see how it works. So I can go on the other side. Now we also need to fix while I'm jumping in this moment when my gravity is uh, more than zero, I shouldn't check this condition repeat until because in this case I will go up, you see? So here this condition on uh, touching ground should work only if my gravity, my fallen speed less than one so it means zero or less let's check yeah you see it's not going me upper so now the more interesting part how we can create more grounds and how the ground should go down when we jump when the doodler jumps our grounds should fall down so we need also create some speed for the ground let's create a variable and call it ground speed so the doodler always uh, fallen down and the uh, speed decreases in some moment it's zero when we touch ground and more when we jump so and and the ground should go down in exactly in this moment when we jump so we need to create a condition if if we jump in our falling speed more than 
zero and in this moment we need to set ground speed we will change wire position of the platforms by this ground speed when toddler jump we set phone speed to 20 and in this moment our ground should go down by minus 20 because we're going down so we need just reverse the value we just multiply this by minus one multiply phone speed Great, and our ground will forever change y by this ground speed. Great, when the doodler doesn't jump, our platform should be stable. So we set ground speed to zero and change doodler y position by following speed. Let's try. Yes, as you can see, our platforms go down. Now we need to create new ones. So after the platforms go down, they can just appear again above. So another condition, if y position is less than, let's say, minus 170, then we just set y to somewhere up 180 and then also let's again set x to the random position let's try great yes it's working also i can see that we forgot to hide our real sprite of the ground so here we should hide and when I start as a clone show yeah great we create a main physics so let's create condition for game over it's a simple when our doodler fall down so if x position less than minus 170 then let's broadcast message game over and we will change backdrop let's just duplicate and type game over i want to use this handwriting okay and we also need condition yes when uh, the green flag click we switch background to the first one and when i receive game over we switch to the second one and also i want when we broadcast a message i want doodler be somewhere here let's just set position and stop the game oh it's not x position sorry y position so let's try yeah game over okay let's try to play great and of course we need score let's create a variable let's call it score when the green flag click we set score to zero and after the ground goes down we will change score by one let's see great my score 21 i can just hide these variables and create my score here Cool, and also I want to show you how to create a global variable. It's a called also cloud variable. And we will create a variable called record and we, and we will make them cloud variable. So the value of this variable 
will save on the scratch server so when you play in this game or your friend will play in this game or some other users of the scratch site they will save this value we need if um, the value record is less than our score it means that we play better than this than the record we need to set record to the new value score and let's put it here and that's all it's just what we need great let's try okay our record just three but you see i play Okay, the record is 64 and when, for example, I will play again, you see now my score is 6, but the best one is, is the 64, it's saved. Great, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's a great simple game. If you like Doodle Jump, please write this in the comments and I will create a new part of this. We will create some monsters, some enemies, our doodler will shoot them and we also add new types of ground and so on so let me know should i continue to create a new part of this game or not i will be happy to hear your feedback thank you again have a good one see you bye